everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a different kind of video. Today I'm here with a like customization video. This isn't exactly a tutorial, but if it turns out well, you can definitely follow along. So today I'm here with some Nike Air Force Ones. These are so popular right now, really in style. I searched everywhere to try and find them because like last weekend they had them everywhere and I was like, hmm, maybe I wanna find a different shoe. And then this weekend I was like, I think I'm gonna get these and I couldn't find them anywhere so we actually found them and so I have them right here and so they can be kind of expensive but I ended up getting um the like kids version so they were definitely cheaper buttons this year also so they were cheaper than like the adult version but they were a little more expensive than the kids so definitely try and find your size in like kids or like the teen version if you can because they are definitely cheaper um, so what we're going to be doing today is, um, there's a pair that I found online and the swoosh is like iridescent and it's like shimmery and I really liked that and I wanted to get those, but they only have them on like special like rare shoe websites and they were going to end up being like $140 for my size and these were 75 so that's literally half the price and, um, so I was like, that's not worth it. I could make those myself. So we're gonna DIY them. I got some shimmery paint that we're gonna put on just the swooshes. And yeah, so I'm really excited. I thought we should do a little customization video just to show you guys in case anyone else wanted to do this. So let's get started over to my reborn painting table. That's what I'm using. My painting table is kind of messy right now, but I sit here. And so the paint we have today, I found this at Michael's. It is Martha Stewart Crafts. And this is a multi-surface pearl acrylic craft paint. Um, I'm not sure how well it's gonna stick on this. I think it should be fine. We realized after I probably should have got a fabric paint, but I didn't. I wanted it to be pearl. So this one's really good and it was actually pretty cheap. I think it was like $1.27. So I'm just gonna be applying that with like a regular old paintbrush. And then I have this matte Mod Podge to put over it to seal it in. Um, again, applying that with a regular like paintbrush. And I have this um, <laughs> envelope that I tested it on. This is the pearl with matte finish over it and this one's just it without it because I wanted to see how they looked and they look the exact same. I just wanted to make sure that it looked the same with the Mod Podge and it wasn't like getting rid of the shine and I have some paint just right there. So that's what we're going to be using and we're just going to put it on the swooshes. It's really, um, it's not very noticeable. It's very subtle and that's what I wanted. I just want it to look like it's barely there but like still makes my shoes look cool and like they're different. It's gonna make them one of a kind. I've seen people like glitter them, like put glitter on it. I didn't want glitter. I just want it to be like iridescent. So I'm super excited. I think it's gonna look so cool and I can't wait to do it. I know sometimes people like tape up the whole shoe and stuff. I'm only putting it on the swoosh so I don't really think I need to tape it. So, and I'm only gonna do it inside the stitching. I'm not doing outside the stitching. So we're just gonna do it inside the stitching. I'm not gonna tape it, but Obviously you could tape it if you wanted to, but I'm only gonna do the swoosh. I don't wanna paint anything else. And I'm gonna do that on both shoes. I know exactly what I wanna do, but I'm so scared for some reason. Um, oh. This makes my body, my stomach hurt. I'm so scared. I'm so excited at the same time though. It's gonna look so cool. So I'm just gonna get started. My gosh, you guys, it looks so good. I don't know if you can tell, I'm gonna turn off my light, but you can, look at that, that's exactly what I wanted. It's just a little bit shimmery. Doesn't that look so cool? Ah! This is so good. I'm so excited, this is exactly what I wanted. It looks so good. And now we're gonna do the other side. Ah! My gosh, they look so good! So we have both sides of the swoosh done on one shoe. That's exactly what I wanted. It looks so good. Oh my goodness, they look so good. Now I have to do the other shoe. Okay, look at this. I wanted to compare actually 
no paint to a painted side. So this one has no paint, pretty boring. And then this one has the shimmery. I have to take a picture of that. Okay, so now they, um, all four swooshes have the shimmery paint. You could do more layers to get it a little more shimmery, but this is actually the perfect amount for me and exactly what I wanted. But they do need to dry a little bit and then I can put the sealant on. Now that we have the shimmer on and it's dried, I'm going to put a very thin layer of this matte Mod Podge. I want it to be matte because I don't want it to look glossy. Like I like how it looks right now. And so I just want it to stay like that. I don't want it to be like glossy because if I put on a gloss Mod Podge, it would look like my nails, glossy. And I want it to just be like matte. So this is what we're gonna put over it and it'll just seal it in, keep it all there. And yeah, so that is the plan. Okay, so now we have the Mod Podge on and it still looks shiny. You guys can't really tell, but, cause that light, but it still looks shiny and it's so good. And that's just gonna seal it all in. So now they both have Mod Podge and you just want to make sure like it's really even because you don't want any like bumps in it. I just had a really thin layer. You can definitely go back in with more layers if you don't think it covered it good enough. I think mine's pretty good. So now I'm just going to let them dry before I can wear them. And I'm planning on wearing them to school tomorrow. So I think that'll be really cool. Okay guys, so here are the shoes all completed. They are super cute and I really like how they turned out. They're all shimmery and they're really fun. They are original because I just made them and no one else has these because <laughs> I painted them myself. So I think these are really cool. And I actually really recommend doing this because it was so easy and it was so much cheaper than buying the version that I saw online and I really like how they turned out. Um, I will say definitely ask your parents before you do this to your shoes because you don't want them getting mad at you if you ruin your shoes. Uh, you definitely need a steady hand if you're going to do this, so maybe even have your parents help you if they are on board with it. But yeah, I really like how these turned out and I'm definitely going to be wearing these a lot and just enjoying them. They look so good and it's just so much more fun than just the classic white and I don't know, I just really like it. So yeah, those are my shoes. I hope you guys like them. Thanks so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let me know what is your favorite shoe. And I will see you guys later. Bye!